simple friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Indian Mathematical Olympiad 2008, problem number 2. We wish to find all non-negative integers p, x and y, such that p is a prime and p to the power of x equals y to the 4th power plus 4. So, it's a nice Diophantine equation, here are my hints. Consider first p equals 2 and do re reduction module 8 when x is greater than or equal 3. Cases of x equals 0, 1 or 2 consider separately. And then let p be greater than or equal 3. Consider separately cases where y is 0 or 1. And crucially, we use this well-known formula called Sophie Germain identity. a to the fourth power plus 4b to the fourth power can be factorized in this way. If you don't recognize this identity, then first prove it, proof is obvious, and use it then, and remember it. And also note that if p to the power of x equals k times l, where k and l are some integers greater than 1, then p must be divide both of them. Both of them. And that also will be useful. I'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Right. So, uh, let's start with first case, case number one. Case number one, when p equals two. I will to consider subcases. If x equals zero, then we have the following equation. Uh, 1 equals y to the 4th power plus 4, no solutions. No solutions, obviously. What about x equals 1? If x equals 1, then, well, 2 equals y to the 4th power plus 4, once again, no solutions. What about x equals 1, if x, x equals 2, sorry, if x equals 2, then we have 4 equals y to the 4th power plus 4, and we have exactly one solution, namely, y must be equal to 0. And now let's consider the general case, if x is greater than or equal 3, then we do re a reduction, we reduce, oh, then, don't, don't write anything, then 2 to the power of x equals y to the fourth power plus 4, and notice that this is even, this is even, so y must be even, so maybe let's write it here, then y must be even, all right, and let's do re a reduction modulo 8. We have 2 to the power of 8 is congruent to 16 y over 2 to the 4th power plus 4 modulo 8. And now we have a, a problem because this number is congruent to 0 because x is greater than or equal 3. This is also congruent to 0 and we get this, this 0 equals 4 modulo 8, which is contradiction. which is contradiction, it's impossible. It's completely impossible. So we have closed the first case where p was equal uh, 2. So now, now consider second case where p is greater than or equal 3. Notice that since p to the power of x equals y to the fourth power plus 4 plus 4, y must be odd. It must be odd, because if it were to be even, then we will have even plus even is even, but p is a prime, and every prime greater than 2 is odd. All right. So, yes. And now we will do factorization of the right-hand side, p to the power of x, using Sophie Germain identity. Using Sophie 
Germain. Identity. We get the following p to the power of x, and the right hand side can be factorized in this way. All right. Now I wish to consider a few cases. First case, maybe I should have started with it, but no matter. If y equals zero, if y equals zero, then we have what exactly? P to the power of x equals four, and here we have no solutions. No solutions since p is odd. Yes. No, well, of course, <laughs> of course, it no solutions because I have stated that y must be odd. Wow. What I'm talking about. So only let's let's check y to be one. <laughs> if uh, if y equals one, then p to the power of x equals five, which has only one pair of solutions, namely p must be equal five, and x must be equal one. Right. Now, if y is greater than or equal to, then notice the following. Let's take again our factorization. Let's take it once again and let's take a look. Let's take a look. Since y is greater than or equal to, this number is greater than one, strictly greater than one. Likewise, this is also strictly greater than one, which means that our power, our prime to some power of x can be written as the product of two numbers greater than one. So it must be the case that p divides both of them. p must divide both of them, which means in turn that after subtraction, after subtraction, subtracting this from that, p must divide 4 times y. But remember, remember that uh, p is odd, so p cannot divide 4. Since p is odd, it must be the case that p divides y itself. Right. And now, let's take again, once again, our equation. p to the power of x equals uh, y to the fourth power plus 4. And now we have a problem, because this side is divisible by p. You may wonder, what, what happens when x equals 0? Well, if x equals 0, then we have 1 equals y to the 4th power plus 4, so it's impossible. Maybe for completeness, let's write it. If x equals, if x is greater than or equal 1, then uh, we have what I, what I have written. This is divisible by p. This is also divisible by p. So 4 must be divisible by p. And it's impossible. Contradiction. Contradiction. And if x is 0, then we have 1 equals 1 to the 4th power plus 4. Another contradiction. So it is impossible for p to be greater than or equal uh, 3 and to be to y to be greater than 1. So all in all, all in all we have two triples of solutions. So our solutions we have two triples of solutions. Either p is 2, x is 2, y is 0. It was the result of our first case. Or p is 5, x is 1, y is 1. It's the result of our second case. And that actually closes our 
problem. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.